Hi everyone, this is PhD Natural Me and this is Vlog from the Road, the Keto RV Lifestyle. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, today I want to do a review on a dash cam that I purchased off of Amazon and I'm going to link it down below for the Aki dashboard camera dash cam. The reason why I ended up buying another dash cam two reasons one the first one that I have right now I could not operate couldn't figure out how to to use it and it frustrated me to no end and I wanted one that I know that was good the pictures that I saw on or the video that I did see on the other dash cam it wasn't clear so that led me to my second reason for purchasing this I was watching a YouTuber who is um, who drives an RV full time almost get into a head-on collision. He ended up running off the road into a ditch and the car swerved back into their lane. And the only proof that he had of that was that video and it did catch the license plate. Sometimes you can't get the license plate, it's not clear. So that's why we ended up buying this one but let me read to you a little bit about this camera and I have to put on my wonderful dollar store glasses okay some of the features for, with this camera it's a 1080p dash camera it says Sony Exmor IMX 323 I don't know what that means sensor captures everything in super sharp full HD resolution it's an ultra wide view expanded 170 degree field of view enables full road coverage including those license plates clear nighttime recording alternative mounting options and an emergency recording mode that automatically captures unexpected driving in incidents and it's activated by sharp turns or sudden stops and it was easy setup and that was main reason why easy setup I went through the instruction manual and didn't have to pull out my hair to figure out what was going on with it I'm gonna pull it up from down here I took it out of the box I recorded this earlier and I didn't like it because it, the shadows were too dark and you couldn't see but let me remove this and this is the camera It has four ports, a USB port, a micro SD port, and two other ports, an input and an output port. Let me grab, actually no, here is one of the mounting devices. I, I like the suction, we use the suction, I'm not going to put a permanently, semi-permanent sticker on the windshield that we just got replaced so we're going to use this and it operates it has to be plugged in so what I shall do is plug in my device Oops. let me move this okay Oops. Okay. I'm going to cut that piece out. I'm trying to put in another cord. <laughs> I'm plugging this. Oh, actually, let me show you. It charges with a USB cord or a cigarette lighter. You can just put this in the, the slot. And it has an additional USB port so you can plug in your phone or something else that requires USB. So I'm going to plug this up down here on my RV, maybe, okay. and it comes with this extremely long cord, extremely long. So I'm going to take this and plug this up at the top of the device and then you should, 
let's see I'm going to press this is the on and off button right here okay. there are four buttons on the bottom the first one is the emergency recording button so if you need if something happens and you need it to record the last events it will do that the next button is a play button the third button is settings I believe and the last one is just as X on and off so let's turn this off it's going to go off because I don't have it set for any recording yet but to set it to record actually I take that back as soon as you turn it on and you plug this in and it starts counting up it's recording if you don't want to see the screen you can just turn it off but it still records okay so what I'm gonna do is stop this so that we can play that back Okay, I'm going to press play, the play button. Let's see if that works. Yes. And you have a slot that says video file, photo file. So you can take a picture with this too. The manual will go into more details, but this is just a general gist of the device here. So I'm going to hit OK for the video device. Then a file should come up over here. file should come up and I'm going to press OK and then the video you should see that on the screen and I'm going to press OK and it should show you let's see yeah it'll show you what it's recording like the inside of my hand <laughs> okay you can protect this file or you can leave it unprotected and delete it right and oh, you can also speed it up too. Let's speed it up. I'm gonna speed it up so you can see. Speed up. And okay, now it's at the end. Sorry about my phone. I got all these interruptions. Okay. Now you can hit the lock button. See, the lock button is right here. And you look up at over here to see where it, if it locked or not. Okay, right now it's locked. I'm going to press unlock. Then I'm going to go to the trash can and I believe it's, yes, right here. The second button. You want to go up or down on the arrow to hit OK. And then press OK here. And it should say, no file. So it's very simple to use. I love it. It's small. We're going to use it um, tomorrow. We'll use it tomorrow to, as we go out and travel, it's um, RV dump day and we have to go a little bit of ways to actually do that. So we'll have this up. Oh, some of the other mounting pieces, they have really small mounting pieces. They have a little bit larger mounting pieces that you, if you want to like I said put it up semi permanently but the suction I believe will work well and I'm very excited about this so hopefully if you do not have a dash cam you really need to get one if you drive it's just another set of eyes that will keep you safe out on the road at least another set of eyes that will support whatever it is that you say so stay healthy everybody and I'll see you on my next video. Let me know what you think. Bye.